Hello everyone, today I bring you the new Juno tablet. This is an 11 inch tablet with a 2K display. The resolution is a 2160 times 1440. Currently scale at 200, so it can be more touch friendly. Uh, the tablet has also been upgraded to 12 gigabytes of RAM, 3200. And also, it can go up to two terabytes of storage. So we have right now from 128 to two terabyte. Um, the CPU has been kept the same. We decided not to upgrade it. And the reason for that is the newer CPU, which is the N6000, um, the difference is minimal. It hasn't been that much. And we didn't want to get a, new, a newer CPU that didn't offer that much of a difference from the previous tablet and not be able to offer a fully compatible Linux tablet. Uh, that is really the main reason for that. Also, the battery life is it's still being optimized through the kernel and it will get better. But right now it's roughly a five hours when it's being used. The brightness is kept roughly at 20, 25%. Currently, even at 25%, this is still very bright. Um, but when it goes into suspend, it can hold up to 20 hours. And when it goes into hibernate, it can even go up to two days. Currently the tablet goes into suspend then hibernate so after 12 hours of suspend it will have hibernate um, and like I said that could last up to what well, depends how much battery you have but it could last up to two days um, but touchscreen it's really nice I mean there's more space now compared to the previous one and because of the sizes actually this is the same size as the previous tablet there's just more space this time Accelerometer it uses a module called DA280. For this particular model, um, right now we're using a package that has to be installed. We're pushing upstream, so hopefully by kernel 6.4, um, 6.5, it will, it will uh, be part of it. So you won't need to install any additional packages. Most of the drivers, I would say close to 95%, are already on the kernel. You can see that we're running kernel 6.3. Also, the speaker and the microphone are working right off the bat. I'll show you here. You can see that it detects my voice. And the volume is working as well. Now for the best part, uh, on the previous model, uh, as of today, on the Juno 1, uh, Tab 1, just the front camera works. We're still working on the, on the back camera. We hope to get it working before the end of the year. Um, we didn't want to make some of the same mistake we did from the previous model. Um, because it, the previous model uses a driver called IPU6, um, which is created by Intel. It's kind of a mess right now. Like I said, we're working on it to get it to work. This new tablet <clears throat> uses USB connectors. I mean, it's all connected inside, but it detects as as USB. So as you can see, that both cameras, the front one is at 720, and you're gonna see myself right now. And the back camera, which is a 1080p, you can see that is super snappy. And with a big display, this is great. It also does scan QR codes if you have the app. It's, you can also see that the camera is just working system-wide. It's not just using one single app to get the camera working. So for example, Firefox, in this case, will detect the camera as well. And I'll show you, and it tags both cameras. You can see that both cameras are there. 
Let's put the rear one. And there you go. <clears throat> it's pretty snappy. The resolution of my phone might be a little bit slow, so it might not show how fast it is. But overall, the camera is working. <clears throat> now for the specs. I'll show you here. Let me take this out. Charging port, <clears throat> USB-C. This one has video uh, out and it can handle charging. This is just a standard USB-C, just for data. An SD card, which you currently have one in. You can also install, install a second OS and you can boot, um, you have to select them from the BIOS. Speaker on the other side, another speaker. Headphone jack, USB-A 3.0, and then the standard volume buttons and the power button. On the back side, I don't know if you can see it like that, yep. The camera, and this is just sensors, they're not flash. And then, let me put it here. Oh, sorry, crash on me. Not a good look right now, but I'll show you. Lastly, you can see the, the tablet now comes with a keyboard. This is a very nice keyboard. Um, currently, all, ta all keyboards will be at ANSI, A-N-S-I. Uh, we're working on ISO keyboards, but for the most part, it will be like this. Uh, we can support other languages. This is an American keyboard at the moment. Also, it has keyboard detection on the on the tablet. Right now, I'll show you here. It's on desktop mode, so if I type, the keyboard doesn't show. But if I remove it, it automatically converts into tablet mode and the keyboard will pop up. Okay. And then if we put it back on, same thing, really nice. Lastly, you can see that the uh, keyboard stands on only one, let me flip it here so you can see it better, uh, only one angle, okay? But overall, it brings a nice protection, pretty thin, ready to go, rock and roll. Thank you for watching.